Well, I'm Claire McLaren and this is my husband Rupert McLaren. We farm at Barm Edmund. We run a little over 5,000 weathers and crop a bit over 2,000 hectares of mainly wheat and canola. A portion of the wheat is under sown each year with the view to going out to pasture. So the current mix with regards to the, what it was previously, the cropping areas remain static, which is that kind of 2,000 hectare mark, canola and wheat, but the sheep numbers have almost doubled from where they were then, and the area under sown almost tripled from that date. So essentially, since the vision from my brother, we've gone from being almost 90%. continuous cropping, 90% of the enterprise, to very much 70. 70, 30. So we had to change our enterprise because we hit a wall. We could no longer control the weeds in our cropping. And the sheep, on the other hand, although they are not a, a high return enterprise, they provided stability and have proven, after years of sticking with sheep being uh, fairly financially unrewarding, the last five years have been excellent. Well, in the last four years, our business has matured we came out of quite a long sustained drought and we had the farm split between the family so we were a very new business, just Rupert and I on our own. Our boys are both at university, they're studying agricultural science and their options are still fluid. So at this point we're keeping our options open. Our labour bill was too high but the enterprises have grown into the, the labour force that we had. We couldn't have done with less labour back in 2012 but essentially, with a little bit of growth, and particularly the, the sheep enterprise growth, that labour is being better utilised. So we've started to invest a lot more in the sheep enterprise. The uh, fencing yards, but I've got, I guess the big ticket item is we decided last year to put in a new shearing shed. Which will help the labour be more efficient. We had discussions with the farm consultant and he <laughs> suggested that using the RAA uh, Farm Innovation Fund would be a perfect option to upgrade our shearing shed. It was an important piece of infrastructure that would increase our labour efficiency during shearing and be easier on the shearers. The sheep would run into the shed better and we were encouraged by his recommendation and that's what we've done. And the shearing shed, look I wouldn't regard that as a luxury, I would regard that as a prudent business investment. Cost control is something that's still very much... It's and, ongoing. Yes. Once you lose control of your cost, because you can't control anything else, essentially. The, so you're still at the mercy of the elements or the locusts or the mice. And when it all goes pear-shaped, costs are still our key. Because you don't know what your yield's going to be and you don't know what the price at harvest's going to be, but you know as you're going along through the year how much you can spend and you've just got to keep focused on that. I've grown to, to love my Merino weathers. They are simple to run. They fit into my enterprise. They're as tough as old boots. It suits our overall operation because we have multiple enterprises and they have to link together.